Uh, we are uh, in studio, uh, by the way, with uh, from Sea Cap Loaves and Fishes, Doug Montgomery and Lee Fleming. Good morning to both of you. Thanks so much for coming in. Good to see you. Great. Thanks Thank for you. having Good us. Good to see you. Good to be here. It's been a little while since I've had anyone from Sea Cap on the program here recently. You guys do such great work for those uh, who need their next meal. They can go to Sea Cap and and get, uh, I think in the past, even a box of food to take right. uh, with you for a while there, right? Yes, exactly. They get a box of uh like staples, you know, mm -hmm. uh, canned vegetables, uh, meats, things like that. And then this time of year, they're getting fresh uh, produce. Yes. We have a lot of fresh produce. And uh, they get bread, they get desserts, they get lots of little extras. And uh, it's, we calculated it'll last them about four to five days mm -hmm. worth of food. But we're, yeah, it, it gets them through a, you know, the tough time. Where are you set up right now? Well, that we have moved to the basement of Otterbein United Methodist Church, which okay. is 549 North Queen Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how long have you been there? Uh, since March. March. March of last year. March of last year, okay. Mm -hmm. When did you two start volunteering there? Um, Beverly got me involved, uh, well, right before we made the move, so right about the beginning of, of 2022. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lee? And, yeah, I started. Um, actually, I volunteered years ago before mm -hmm. they even had a computer system, and it was all on cards um, for a short while. But then I've been there since uh, March of 2020. I joined during the pandemic when several of their volunteers were concerned about working there, so they were very shorthanded. Now, what did you do during the pandemic? Oh, it just well, they wouldn't let clients into the building. Sure. I had to go. I was the receptionist greeter whatever you want to call it and i would go outside and get their information find out what they needed and everything was done outside we would just go out you oh, know, yeah. oh yeah we met remember them in the parking lot yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, wearing a mask <laughs> yeah wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. Who, who uses sea cap loads and fish services uh basically anybody any resident of berkeley county mm -hmm. um there really is not a uh, an income guideline they just need to be a resident no that's incorrect of, oh. <laughs> sorry doug well, it, not a particular <laughs> but they need to be it's we specialize in taking care of the underserved okay. of course yes. of berkeley county yeah. what was your clarification well they have to meet the federal um, um low income guidelines mm -hmm. so they have to be considered low income according to what the federal figure is and how do you know when they come in for a box of food that they meet those guidelines well they they need to let us know what their um household income is the the total income of the whole household and how do you verify that well we trust them so we we operate on faith a lot mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah and if i remember correctly from uh, talking with some folks from ccap a few years back this isn't something that you can keep going back to all the time for years and years. You, there is a limit to what you can. Well, it depends on the service. So mm -hmm. with food, they can come every 30 days, mm -hmm. and that can go on for years. Um, with um, rental assistance, if they've received um, you know, an eviction notice or they're behind in their rent, they can get that uh, help once every five years. Mm -hmm. And I believe electric and water bills is every two years. Mm -hmm. so, is it one instance every two years? <clears throat> yes. Does that come in the form of a check? What we do is we um, send, give them a voucher that they would give to their landlord, and then once the landlord fills out their portion of the voucher, then we reimburse the landlord. The, the, the money goes directly to the landlord, mm -hmm. not to the client. For the, the, is there a cap? I mean, yes. If somebody's five months behind in their rent, you Yeah, that's not going to help. Right, okay. <laughs> It's. I think right now we're sitting at. Uh, we were at a thousand, and I think we brought it down to a maximum any one time of eight hundred. Mm -hmm. um, so, and and we do talk to the landlord. The landlord has to agree that they will allow them to stay a minimum of another month. Um, so, there oftentimes the landlord, although that may not take care of their entire shortfall, um, it it at least gives them thirty days to you know get back to their job, uh, make other arrangements for the balance or something mm -hmm. like that. So just doing random math in my head, this is pretty cash intensive pretty quickly. If, if, so the CC, CCAP is County Congregational Cooperative Action Product, the Berkeley County Project, con con mm -hmm. project right? Yeah. Um, so it, is this is associated with a particular church, Congregational? Is it? Is it no. no, what, um, I believe it was 16 churches came together in 1982 and uh, chartered this organization and, and uh, pledged their support of it. And, and since then, it's grown as far as the number of church, I can't even tell you the number of churches that are supportive of 
our organization. But that's where it began. Um, and to, you know, it was started as like an emergency stopgap for, you know, situations where they're being evicted or they're out of food or, you know, that kind of thing. So it's, it's truly, we're providing emergency services is the way we look at it. It's not it's not a real solution, but it keeps them from being homeless for 30 days while they, you know, come up with some other solution to their Buys them situation. time. Buys them yeah. time, right. right. The, the dollar amount last year, rental assistance, <laughs> we provided $204,000. Wowzers. $575 mm -hmm. in, in rent assistance what were your, in 2023. What were your food totals for distribution? Uh, Dollar-wise, $319,000. Um, Last year, our food, we, we go a lot by poundage because yeah. the, the boxes run, I think we say approximately what? 91, 91 pounds, Something including like that. including the fresh, the, the meat, the milk, the eggs, mm -hmm. the bread, and all of that that we add to the box of perishables, mm -hmm. the fresh vegetables and all. Um, last year, we gave out, um, let's see, oh. it was 150, around 157,000 pounds of food. Mm -hmm. This year we're on track to do about 190,000 pounds of food. Oh, yeah. that's a significant increase. It, the, yeah. yeah. 20%. It goes up every, every year. I mean, every year. from yeah. literally 2022 to 2023, we had a 37% increase in um, food distribution. Yeah. So, and it's, sure well, that, that's it's interesting. 33 or yeah. something. We talk a lot here about in inflation and you know, finances is you can, if the dollar amount goes up, we can we can blame that on inflation. But when the absolute value of the poundage goes poundage. up, that's that's a lot of additional people. Mm -hmm. So, are yes. are more people finding you, or do we have more people that are that have issues? Actually, uh, Vel, know. who is kind of our executive director, she's there from ten to one, Monday through Friday, and Vel is what. 84 <laughs> something i'm not going to tell him that <laughs> gives, hey gives her, gives her a good day to do it right yeah but but mm -hmm. uh she is you know uh, uh, getting up in years but she is still there mm -hmm. and uh, misses very few days but um she just at the last board meeting uh this last week um she said two observations uh, she is seeing people coming in now who she hasn't seen since 2016 and and then the and then there are also more new people, brand new, who've never been to us, who we've been seeing in the last five months, mm -hmm. four months. So there's a there's a trend there. Mm -hmm. What seems to be driving their misfortune? I, I mean, a lot of it is just jobs and and just the low income. But I mm -hmm. think a lot of what we've seen there there was a lot of assistance, both in rental money and in food and in a lot of different government programs during COVID. Mm -hmm. And slowly, those are uh, have dried up, um, gone away, mm -hmm. and now it's starting to catch up. Mm -hmm. So they were able to make it through those times sometimes without the the benefit of us and organizations like us. But now it's you know they're 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 using up their bank mm -hmm. accounts, their you know their extra money, and now now needing assistance. Well, and it's expensive to live in Berkeley County. For a lot of people, I have some statistics. If sure, you like, please. if you like statistics, mm -hmm. um, according to data.census.gov, um, Berkeley County has a poverty level of 11.7 percent, and of those who are at the poverty level, 19.9 percent, um, uh, that's the unemployment rate. 19.9 percent in Berkeley County, and um, for for those who are in the poverty, rate. yeah, those at the poverty level. The unemployment rate is 19.9%. Um, you know, great things are happening in Berkeley County. And there's lots of people prospering, but there's a lot of people who aren't. You know, the, do you do you have the see. opportunity to hear the stories as to what's going on in their lives, or is it, uh, hey, I'm hungry. Here's a box of food. We'll see you if, yeah. next time if you need us. Oh, you know, some share their stories. What, what, um, what are some of the stories? Well, I don't work directly at that. We have people that work at the intake desk who, or at the receptionist desk, yeah. who probably hear those stories more. I work more in the food pantry, and mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you know, I've heard story. I mean, I've, a story that really sticks with me is a. Uh, you know, a woman had, she lost her job because she had cancer and had to go to the doctor a lot and she was fired, which I would question that anyway, yeah. <laughs> questioned how could she be fired, but anyway, and she was in between getting her unemployment check, you know, and she was crying and she was embarrassed and, and you know, she's like, I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm like, this is what we're here for. This is the kind of thing we're here for, people who are just in a bad spot. 
you know. And we have a lot of senior citizens who, you know, their social security check doesn't go far enough. And, you know, there's just all kinds of stories. Well, let me, let me tell you about, uh, about Michael Hornby, who owns this place, right? And he's elected it to the House of Delegates as well. Uh, I had cancer in 2016, missed seven weeks, and he paid me for every day that yeah. I was out. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and I, maybe not everybody can do that, I understand, but yeah. I just can't imagine yeah. firing somebody but because But you know, she only came one time, yeah. never saw her again. But, you know, so we have people like that. We have, oh, you know, just all kinds. Of, I mean, there's, a poor, there's, there's one gentleman that comes every month, and, I mean, he is taking care of his wife. She's... Well, he, he always says to me, she should have died six months ago. I mean, it's just sad stories, you know. And like I said, a lot of people are older mm -hmm. that, you know, it's tough. Yeah. So. Well, the, I think I'm in the real estate business, and I know um, over the 30 years, 35 years I've been doing that, um, you know, there were apartments that I used to rent at $595 that go for $1,200 now. Sure. Oh, yeah. Um, and I can tell you that the uh, minimum wage has not kept track with that. Mm -hmm. So, whereas back then they could literally afford something like that, they are now out of the market. Well, and, and even if you, uh, I'm not sure what percentage of your uh, clientele is senior citizens or not, but think about property taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, I know mine have tripled in the last 24 years uh, since uh, the last time that we purchased. So, that's also a factor too, as property values go up, which they are in Berkeley County, taxes go up, and that means your tax bill becomes larger. Can you afford to stay in the same home that you've been in for so many years? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, do, you, do you see many seniors at uh, CCAP as well? We do. We see a lot of seniors. Um, and I think it's sad, you know, when you retire, you think, you know, you're going to have it easy, but it's tough. You know, maybe they didn't have enough savings. I don't, you know, I don't know the background of Everybody sure. why they're able to not able to make it, but yeah, we have a lot of seniors. Yeah. How are you funded? Where does the money come from that you can afford to pass out six hundred thousand dollars in rental assistance and food? <laughs> um, a, a lot of different sources. Um, we have a uh, a grant committee. Uh, Lee and I are both on it. Um, we we apply for and get grants from. Um, we have a NIP. The NIP fund yeah. is one of the ones. Yes. Do you have tax credits available this year yes, to give we away? Do. Then? We do. We will. We won't know how much until <clears throat> September. That's when they but tell yeah. you, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, uh, what are some of them? P well, most of the yeah, most of the uh, local corporations, big national corporations like P and G um, and oh, Omnitrax or who else? I'm Omnitrax is one. That's Food the Lion, company. you know, different companies like that. Um, Ecolab. We get um, grants from. Do them. you get United Way grants or Community Foundation mm -hmm. grants as well? United Way, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, you, you you have a, a twenty percent unemployment rate among those who are in the poverty level, and that would make sense if you're not a, you don't have a job, you don't have money. If you don't have money, you're in the poverty mm -hmm. level. Is, is there any type of coordination that takes place for uh, you know if you're unemployed, you need a job? Well. Procter & Gamble donates to this program. They're hiring. Is there any type of li liaison there? Uh, we don't really do that. But one thing we, one service we provide are work shoes. Mm -hmm. So um, say you, you know, get a job and I don't know, quad graphics or somewhere, and they have to wear a certain type of work shoe, they can come to us and we will um, give them a voucher to go to um, Super Shoes. I think it's Super Shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to buy the work shoes that mm -hmm. they need. Uh, do you yeah. have a, a fundraiser coming up or anything like that that you're doing? Not specifically, but we have ongoing, you know, food drives that are happening. There's a food drive going on right now at all the Rocks stores. And what do you do to participate in that? Just, one Life. Oh, yeah. One Life Fitness is, is doing a, um, a food, drive. food drive. So, you know, just customers, people that come in, they drop a few cans of vegetables or whatever into the box. and. Are you looking for non-perishables yeah. in the food yeah, drive? Yes, non-perishables. Yeah, yeah, vegetables, canned fruit, spaghetti sauce, spaghetti. Um, if they go to the website, like actually, I think we've got yeah, the list on there. Yeah, I think there's a there. list on the website. Yeah, Just, mac and cheese boxes, yeah. stuff like that. Yep. that uh, canned, yeah, canned tuna, canned chicken, that kind of stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between sea cap and loaves and fishes? Not really, and I don't know why they did that. <laughs> but, no, it's all... Same organization. Um, I guess loaves and fishes just refers to the food pantry part of it, but yeah. no, all same organization. You know, taking a step back, I, I'm more disturbed by the statistic that 81 <clears throat> percent of the people at the poverty level are employed. Mm -hmm. What does that say about 
the employment statistics, you expect people, unemployed people to be at the poverty line. You know, it's mm-hmm. not, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's mm-hmm. not unexpected. But mm-hmm. to have 81% of the people poverty level to also be employed is, is disturbing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, there's no question there. I don't think. I just, it just it, I've been I cogitating comes, on this. Comes back to the a living wage. Yeah, comes back to right. a living wage. In in my mind, if you know, if you're working at at minimum wage uh, and and yet trying to afford a car and a mm-hmm. and a house and, and you might and have three that, kids and and, and, and the children and all of that that goes along with it. Um, the cost of living overall has has gone up a lot more than the minimum wage has. Minimum wage is eight seventy five an hour in West Virginia. But Nobody's paying. Anybody it's actually pay that? It seems like most of the jobs know. you see advertised yeah. are fifteen dollars plus per hour. I, I, unless you're a, maybe a teenager, mm-hmm. I don't know. Is there is anybody who's actually making eight seventy five? Do you hear? I have no. I don't know. No, I, I don't most know. of them, even you can see the signs from yeah. businesses yeah. that are opening. They're usually fifteen seventy five or something end up. Yeah. Uh, but anecdotally, still, I've I've heard that there there are big issues with passing the drug test. That's uh, that's the that, big issue. Even people who are hired on, then you, you get the whiz quiz and mm-hmm. and that's an issue. And you're on your way yeah. out. Yeah, I've I've heard that from major employers mm-hmm. that it, that that can be a problem. Mm-hmm. And that's anywhere, yeah. Berkeley County is as well as anywhere else, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you have any other information you wanted to get out today during this segment that we didn't cover? The only thing I just wanted to piggyback on what yeah. he was saying, where yeah. you asked about our support. We get a lot of support from churches in the form of money, or um, they're very good about giving us food. Um, and just people in the community, we are very you know, blessed to have such strong support in our area. You know, just individuals send us checks or... You know, so yeah. How, how do you do that? How do anybody you, how do you right see? now who uh, this time of year, as everybody is um, getting all their vegetables out of their garden, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if instead of chasing down your neighbors and trying to give them another two zucchini, um, we've got plenty of people who bring their fresh produce to us. Also, yeah. tomatoes when they come in, come in in bunches. Yeah. Yeah, bring them in. You have no bring tomatoes, and then you have a hundred tomatoes. That's true. Yes, that's yes, true. and and families are happy to get them. Yeah, well, that's nice too. So, where physically again? Where are you located? Uh, Five forty nine North Queen Street. It's mm-hmm. in the basement of Otterbein United Methodist Church. Okay, and you can drop off stuff during what time frame? Uh, we're open from ten to one Monday through Friday. And do you need volunteers right now? Shockingly, we are in good shape for volunteers. This doesn't happen very often. But if someone would like to volunteer, we'll find you something to do. <laughs> okay. Do you deliver at all, or do everyone, does everyone have to come to you? They come to us. Okay, very good. Mm-hmm. And in terms of uh, monetary donations, how do you do that? You can mail us a check. Do we have our – I did not think to bring the address. It's, uh, it's a P.O. box. <laughs> Is it on there? Well, they can look up. You can online. also you, you can He's also go it. to your website and do it through PayPal, yes. or you can donate through a credit card. That's yeah, what's true. the website, John? Um, it is CCAP Loaves and Fishes. The word and fishes dot com. Yes. And um, but our mailing address is PO Box two nine seven six Martinsburg, West Virginia two five four zero two. All right, Lee. Why did you get involved in this? Um, I sort of retired from what I was doing, and I'm. I don't, don't like to sit still, so. But you could have done yeah. any of a hundred different charities. Sure. Why this one? Well, I've I've been familiar with CCAP for years. The, my church always supported them, and mm-hmm. um, yeah, so that was the first place I thought to go. Well, I saw it in our church bulletin that they needed volunteers because of the pandemic. So that's that's why I joined. How about you, Doug? Um, uh, over the years as a property manager, I have oftentimes um, when tenants were falling behind on their rent. I worked with the organizations like this in, and would accept rent from them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had worked with CCAP on the other end um, on, on uh, helping people get their rent paid. So I was very familiar with their operation. And how many years did you say you're with them now? Uh, about a year and a half, almost two years now. About two years. And how about you, Lee? Um, since 2022, so that and we've but we've years. been in business 42 years. So yeah, there, I yeah. think Doug Fails was his name. He's a fellow oh. that uh, back in the 20 teens, uh, I used to talk to him a lot about okay. the, the the NIP credits uh, mm-hmm. because when you get those, you have you, you try to use them all that you yes. can because if not, then you you don't get them the next year from the state. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we don't have any problem with that. We have people who are very you know they're ready to to support us so, yeah. yeah and and you find out in september how much you're going to get yes okay what, what typically have been the figures in the past any idea oh 
we've had everything from twenty to forty thousand. I forget yeah. what last year's was. Yeah. The, 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 it seems to go down a little each year as more people, more organizations around the state yeah. find out, get on the list. And the state tries to divide it amongst mm-hmm. the number of people. And is that the extent and the of the pledged st- amount doesn't go up? Is that the extent of the state's financial support for the program? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Very good. Well, it's nice to meet you both. Okay. Thanks yeah. so yeah. much for Thanks coming for in. Thanks for having us. And Thank you. If, if you need any announcements made, feel free to get those to me. I'll be happy to read them okay. during the show. Thank you very much. All right, Lee and Doug, all the best to you. Okay. Thanks.